Well, she's... I'm sorry, I'm not... I mean, you did put me in your car, not... Like, as I told you that I literally did nothing. That's my own I literally did nothing. Welcome back to U.S. Corrupt Cops, where we shine a light on the darkest corners of law enforcement. In today's episode, corrupt officers thought they could exploit an unsuspecting individual, but they had no idea who they were dealing with. What happened next will leave you speechless. If you like this video, press 1. On October 5th, 2023, Miss Kelsey and her husband were walking to a local store to pick up some groceries when she noticed the police chief of Lye, Missouri, Sam Ford, in the distance. Recognizing Chief Ford, she flipped him off before entering the store. Shortly after, Miss Kelsey realized that Chief Ford was following her inside, prompting her to start recording on her mobile phone. To understand the full context, it's important to revisit some background information. Back in 2021, Miss Kelsey was pulled over by an unmarked patrol vehicle from the Lye Police Department without any valid reason. Let's watch the footage from this previous encounter first. Hi. Okay, okay, this is a private driveway, and I'm here to work. So, that's all. That's 24 at night, so we're just checking. Okay, janitorial. Janitorial. Here to clean. I've gone through this multiple times now with you guys. <laughs> that's all. I've never seen here. Okay, well, I'm here three times a week. Okay. My job as well. Okay. If I've stopped, I have to check the license. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you definitely don't. You suspect me of a crime. Okay. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. You suspect me of a crime. <laughs> On private property working. You don't have to check my ID. Okay, we've already established that. Anybody can work for us at Danforth. I have the keys to the fucking building. There's no reason to have to. I am sick of you guys harassing me. I've I'm never seen you here. Okay. Have, have you ever met me? No. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. I'm here for work. But I still have to do my job. Okay. And your job. Okay. Days. Your job is to hear. Come check and see if I'm here. Why I'm here. Yeah. I told you why I'm here. That's great. So now you can go about your way. It would be fantastic if you would lose the attitude, ma'am. I don't have an attitude. All I you did have was... a massive attitude. Okay. The first thing Is you said when, you, when I saw you was, I don't want to deal with this right now. Because I don't. I'm sick of having to deal with this. Well, ma'am, I don't know who you are. Okay. okay. Hey, I apologize for saying that. So if you want to get an attitude, <laughs> we can have a problem. But I don't want that. Okay? Okay. It's all on camera. You can have that on camera all <laughs> you want. Okay? But talking to someone disrespectfully when they're trying to be nice and do their job is not okay. I'm trying to do the same thing. That's fantastic, but you decided you wanted to be disrespectful. You can quote all you want. I don't care. So you You're not get getting my ID. There's no reason to get my ID. If I want to get your ID because I'm checking who you are, yes, I can. No, you can't. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion. Of a crime. What is your suspicion of a crime? Yes. No, no. <laughs> yes, okay. it is. You're on private property. I don't know who you are. Is that correct? And I have told you who what. Uh, like, I don't need to give you my name. Okay. But I don't know that you're actually working. Now do what? I have the keys okay. right here. I'm wearing a janitorial okay. shirt. Anybody can wear a janitorial shirt. I can go buy one right now. Okay. Okay. Everything would have been fine if you hadn't got an attitude. Okay. Everything would have been. Honky door. Okay. Okay. So, next time, if you are working, fine. How about you pull into a spot? Because this is a private freaking driveway. Man. You know how many people? It's not a through the street. Time? There's literally a sign right there that says not a through street. I understand. I get called all the time to come here because people have parked here. No night. It's 11:30 at night. Okay, and I'm here to work. I've got the keys. I've literally showed you. Got the keys right here. I can go open the door to go in, to go do my job. And I'm happy for you, okay? What I'm asking is, is when we stop to do a public service to make sure that you're not just some random person here getting ready to kind of break into the physician's office, 
that you're just as courteous as we try to be. Okay, and I told you why I'm why. here. So I told you why I'm next here. Next time, be courteous, and you won't get asked you. Okay, just so you know, I can speak to you however I want. There's freedom of so speech. So can I do. So, so can I. But you have to be professional. It's your job. You're representing our town right now. You're, you're representing your business right now, aren't okay. you? Sure. Okay. So when I come up and I just start trying to talk to you because I don't know who you are, and I've never met you, and you've already confirmed you've never met me, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't so mean why you can act you like a tyrant. I'm not acting like a tyrant. I'm Demanding my ID. Because I, I don't, don't have to give you my ID. I don't have to give you my ID. That's great. Okay. Now that I know that you work for the janitorial, that's fine. You can be here. Why not? But there's no reason to be rude from the moment that you get out of your truck. There's no reason for it. Okay. So next time, be nice. I'll be nice too. Okay. Well, you sat there sh with your light on me for a couple minutes first. It was not for a couple. Minutes. Okay, for a minute. Because I was calling into my dispatch. Okay. Okay. So again, drop the attitude. I mean, you're dealing with the public servant, man. All I'm trying to do is my job. Well, then don't come up demanding for ID and shit. Then don't act like an act. I'm not however I want. So can I. Freedom of speech. You have that freedom. You absolutely do. But you also do have the freedom to just not be a jerk. Okay. So next time, be nice. I'll be nice too. Well, next time you see my vehicle here, you know I work here. I still have to do my rounds, man. Okay. I was coming here to do a damn building check. That's fine. So, just please be, be try not to be rude to people. You could do the same thing. I wasn't rude until you were. Right. Okay. So, have a nice night. You too. Oh, what is your badge number? 706. 706, and yep. your name? Officer Cade. You can talk to All Chief right. Decker tomorrow if you want to. Oh, I definitely will. As evident from the footage, Miss Kelsey was questioned and given unlawful orders by the officer, even though she hadn't committed any crime. Worse still, after the officer left, her employer received a call from the former chief of police in an attempt to get her fired. With this context, Miss Kelsey's act of flipping off the current police chief makes more sense. However, what didn't make sense was how Chief Ford followed her around the store as if she had committed a crime. Let's dive into the encounter. Hold on, what? What was I need that? To see your ID for what? Uh, because what you just did is considered disorderly conduct in the city of Lynn. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. No, that's a First Amendment activity. No, it's not actually. It accident. It actually is. I need to see your ID, please. No. Yeah, I'm gonna see your ID, or I'm gonna put you in the handcuffs and I'm gonna take you to jail. Good luck with that. Excuse me. You're gonna take me to jail because I flipped. Absolutely, I will. Because I flipped. No, that's not disorderly conduct. Ma'am. Dude, that's a First Amendment protected activity. No, it's not a First Amendment. Yes, it is. I'm busy trying. Don't touch me. Stop. Don't touch me. You Dude, are. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Get the f away from me. Who the f are you? Don't touch me. No, don't touch me. I didn't do s. You're under arrest. No. No. No, I'm not under arrest. No. No, you really are. You're full of it. Oh, say, so send me a secondary unit. Got a subject resisting arrest. <laughs> you can't, no. Of course I can. Man, it's a city ordinance. <laughs> okay, do you realize that is First Amendment protected activity? It's not. This is First Amendment protected activity. Now leave me alone. Dude, you guys, this guy is chasing me. This guy is fucking chasing me. YouTube doesn't impress me at all. Okay? What are you doing? Leave me alone. You, you can't do No, I am not. You can't arrest me for No, you cannot arrest me for First Amendment activities. First Amendment activity, ma'am. It absolutely is. You can go ahead and leave me alone here, babe. Can you take that? Under arrest. No. Okay. Right now. Okay, I will stop now. Uh, Lena, can you hold this, please? 
additional charges for escape. Okay, go ahead because uh, I don't want to hate Kevin. Let's no, go. no, if you're gonna do it, hand you're gonna go outside oh, this no. door right now. No, if you're gonna arrest me because I flipped you off out there, go ahead and do it. Okay, this is because he flipped me off. No, go ahead. I didn't flip you off. No, this is because I flipped you off. Just so you guys know, this is completely illegal. Completely illegal. One thousand percent illegal. Just got this, guys. Guys, violating my rights. It's violating my rights. No. Violating my rights. Hmm. 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 As seen in the footage, Chief Ford indeed trailed Miss Kelsey through the store, attempting to place her under arrest for disorderly conduct, apparently the charge for flipping off a police officer. He even called for backup, stating that Miss Kelsey was resisting arrest. First and foremost, we need to discuss whether showing a law enforcement officer the finger is actually a crime. While the answer might seem obvious, let's revisit the First Amendment which states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech. The key phrase here is freedom of speech. So does flipping the bird fall into this category? The US Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit ruled that this ancient gesture of insult is not the basis for reasonable suspicion of a traffic violation or impending criminal activity. It stated that you cannot detain the person. It doesn't provide grounds for arrest, it's simply not criminal. Additionally, in the 1987 case of Houston v. Hill, the Supreme Court found a city ordinance prohibiting verbal abuse of police officers to be unconstitutionally overbroad and a criminalization of protected speech. The court added that the freedom of individuals verbally to oppose or challenge police action without thereby risking arrest is one of the principal characteristics by which we distinguish a free nation from a police state. Considering all these factors, there's no doubt that flipping off an officer does not constitute a lawful arrest of any kind, and it certainly isn't considered disorderly conduct. Yet despite this, Chief Ford was adamant that Miss Kelsey had committed a grave crime. You're a police officer. You can't request me because I'm going to you off. That's a city ordinance. No, you cannot make a First Amendment protected activity illegal. It's not First Amendment. It absolutely is. No. Absolutely is. Oh, no, this guy's video. You're an idiot. Let's get this on. Let's go ahead and do this. I've never been around. We don't do it on your schedule. We do it on mine. Okay? Damn, you just have to do How long are we at this illegal detainment now? Illegal. That is absolutely illegal. Absolutely illegal. Absolutely illegal. One million percent. He's like, hey, this is because I flipped him off. I was with him. Because I flipped him off. This is because I flipped him off. He put me in handcuffs because I flipped him off. Yeah. Absolutely. She is under arrest for because, this one. Because I cut them off. Can you please take her yeah, city off? Can you put her in your car? She has quite a minute. You'll, she may you'll be able to take her off. Because I cut them off. It's all because I cut them off. I don't know. Make sure you have a listed city ordinance. And by the way, she has failed to identify herself. What's uh, Amy Keyhole? Thank you. I'm not, I'm not a good person. At this point, Chief Ford made it clear that Miss Kelsey was under arrest for disorderly conduct, stemming from his ridiculous lack of knowledge regarding the constitutional rights of a U.S. citizen. It's shocking that a chief was confidently claiming that flipping the bird is not a First Amendment protected act. Additionally, backup arrived at the scene, and a female officer took over by ordering Miss Kelsey to identify herself. However, Miss Kelsey immediately refused to provide any form of ID, and the officer then claimed that it would result in another charge, failure to identify. 
In Missouri, you can be ordered to provide your ID, but it is not an unlimited right. They need to have reasonable suspicion that you're doing something wrong. In this case, we've already clarified that Miss Kelsey had done absolutely nothing wrong, so charging her with failure to identify would be another bogus charge. Yeah, that's definitely illegal. This is completely that's tyrant behavior. Cause he's butt hurt. He got the bird. I don't even know what I have. This is completely. Oh, I can't wait to do him. It's ridiculous. I know. Well, it's because I. This is because I. Calm down, with Turk. Okay, so we have the city of Lynn police chief placed Kelsey under arrest because she flipped him off. And so he's calling it disorderly conduct. Chief has a ride along, I believe. So he attempted to get her identification because she flipped him off, tried to tell her she was detained due to that sole action. He then attempted to place her under arrest. For her exercising her civil rights, her First Amendment right in particular. Again, it's Lynn City, Lynn City PD, Lynn, Missouri, and it's the chief of police, I believe. Miss Kelsey remained in handcuffs while she was searched by the female officer and then placed in the back seat of a patrol vehicle. Since the entire detainment or arrest was illegal to begin with, searching Miss Kelsey and securing her in the patrol car was yet another violation of her constitutional rights. A few minutes later, she was finally removed from the vehicle and released from handcuffs, but that didn't mean she would just walk away. She wanted answers, and apparently, she was still being cited for something. Zero, zero, one. So, he's talking about city ordinances. See, but it goes federal, state, city. City can't make something that's federally legal illegal. And because federally, I can flip him off yeah. federally, so his other concerns are worse. He's resisting it. Because he was trying to illegally detain me for something. Look, I, I have no thoughts. Despite me talking about okay? Well, I can't because he handcuffed me and then sent me. Right. Well, she's. I'm sorry, I'm not. I mean, you did put me in your car, not. Like, as I told you, that I literally did nothing. That's my problem. I've never really been that I'm going to sue this guy. Name for it. Well, was that his name? Yeah. Goodness. Does he want to speak with her anymore? Do you know? Or? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's giving me a citation or a summons. But he doesn't know who I am because I have an ID. Look at these marks on my wrist. Oh, Osage is going viral again. Or Lynn. Oh, Lynn PD is going to go viral again from that. That ain't going to happen. Mm -mm. I hope dispatch is ready to be flooded with calls again. That's what's most likely gonna happen. Here, can I just get a video of your name just so I have it clear? Thank you. Can I get your name and badge number? Hammond? Yep, okay. Uh, I was put in handcuffs because I flipped an officer off. Because he knows. He knows he can't do that. He's going to get an ass chewing later.
So we're just here to assist and make sure to keep the peace. That's what we're Okay, well I still gotta know who's here dealing with me because there's gonna be a lawsuit. Note that Miss Kelsey was still technically detained since she was obviously not free to leave. We learned that it was actually Chief Ford who instructed the female officer to uncuff her, which essentially meant he knew very well that what he had done was completely unlawful. So, of course, he had to come up with something to cover his actions and de-escalate the situation. Watch as he tried to fabricate a completely new reason for why he approached Miss Kelsey. Right, come on over here so you can get your time, you can come to me. I was told to stay over here by her. I don't want to be near this cop alone. Oh, I, I don't, I don't doubt it. Why? What is your problem with the police department? You exactly. What you just why, did is my problem. Me? You just handcuffed me because I flipped you off. You just handcuffed me because I flipped you off. I have marks on my wrist. I have marks on my wrist because I because after having the handcuffs, they're not made for comfort. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. And why did you handcuff me? Because what was your reasoning? And what was the detention for? What was your reasonable articulable suspicion for? What crime? Disorderly conduct. And what did I do? You what I oh yes I flipped you up thank you for saying that that's Absolutely. all I needed it's no problem it's, it's a first amendment activity also. okay great okay. it's a first amendment I activity need your ID. no yes. so I'm gonna have to take you to jail to identify you if that's what you're gonna do if you're going to illegally arrest Why me you like this? because I did something that's constitutionally protected I'm Why? not giving you my okay. ID let's go back then I'm not giving what you my is ID. your big problem with the police department Lynn PD with me too many times. So, what do your thing. Do, do your thing. What do your thing. If you're me? going to illegally detain me and arrest me, because you. you did, because I flipped you off. No, you don't. Not because I flipped you off. This is First Amendment protected activity. It is First Amendment protected activity. It is a First Amendment protected activity. You obviously failed the course. Okay. Yes, you did. You were right. No, you did. Now, are you going to identify no. yourself then? I am not. You're not going to identify yourself? I am yourself. not. Okay. You got that? You heard. You have that still going? Please? Okay. Because... This is because I flipped him off and he has made sure that he is, I made sure he said, this is because I flipped him off. First Amendment protected activity. I have the right to say you. Yeah. Now here, when you were doing this, I thought you might actually be in need of help. I went like that to you. No. Yeah, okay. No, but that's okay. So because you think I need help, you are allowed to detain me? I'm no. Come and ask you, are you okay? Okay, and you can't detain me unless there's. You cannot detain exactly me unless you have reasonable, said. articulable isn't suspicion of a it? crime, and there was no isn't crime it? committed. So good luck. As absurd as it sounds, Chief Ford attempted to make it seem like he approached Miss Kelsey with the intention of conducting a welfare check, since he was worried she might have required some help. Clearly, this was just him trying to cover up his tyrannical actions at this point. Additionally, since Miss Kelsey rightfully refused to provide any form of ID, he was technically out of options. He did threaten to take her to jail so they could identify her, but this was merely an attempt to force her compliance. So Chief Ford called up Amanda Greer, a newly appointed prosecuting attorney. You need to really grow up a little yes, bit. Yes, you do. No crime committed, you so good are luck. An absolute joke in this community. No crime committed, so good luck. My fingers are tingling. Oh, good for you. So. Is that from excitement? No, that's from the cuffs. Those cuffs weren't even on you tight. I could get my finger at both cuffs. Yeah, except for uh, they kept tightening more and more and more. So. Amanda, this young lady will not identify herself to me, either by mouth or by identification. I can't even write a summons. Is her name Kelsey? I'm not answering questions. I'm not answering questions. 
Okay, got it. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. We're at 20 minutes of an illegal detainment here. Not an illegal detention, ma'am. Absolutely is. I don't have to identify if there's not a crime committed. Get out of here. I don't have to identify if there's not a crime committed, dumbass. You're not my boss. Go away. Why? Because I'm done with you. Go away. Okay, and guess what? I'm just getting started with you because you you up. You're gonna get dismissed from your job. Okay. You just illegally detained me. I'm gonna go to the hospital and get my wrist checked out. Totally should. I will because my fingers are tingling and my wrist has lines on it. It hurts from an illegal detainment. Can you guys get me EMS out here? Because my fingers are tingling. Please. No, my fingers are tingling. So I would like to get looked at now. Now that I'm not detained because I didn't do anything wrong. I need to be checked out. As expected, Chief Ford was shamefully instructed by Amanda Greer that he had to let Miss Kelsey go and release her from the illegal detainment. Clearly, he was very unhappy and dissatisfied about that. This was why his demeanor suddenly turned even more irrational. Despite releasing Miss Kelsey, he continued to try to identify her. Can you identify her? He's still trying to identify. He's trying to, uh, I think, send me it in the mail. Identify yeah, me and then send it to my mail. Yeah. That's what it's kind of like in the phone. I think she is. This isn't an ordinance violation. You're an officer. This is First Amendment protected activity. Again, you you failed your YouTube University horrifying. Okay. This is First Amendment protected activity. Dr. City Hall and get a copy of the ordinance. Uh, oh, I have a copy of it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Got everything you need. We'd like to sign for you. Got everything you need. You have a quality day, ma'am, okay? Be looking for a citation in the mail. Eventually, EMS arrived on the scene, and Miss Kelsey received medical care for the bruises on her wrist. As of the date of this recording, Miss Kelsey has yet to receive a citation from this encounter, and she is currently considering taking civil action against Chief Ford and the city of Len. Thank you for tuning in to U.S. Corrupt Cops. If this story opened your eyes, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more real-life accounts of justice served. Stay alert, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next episode.